We got to talk about it, guys. Activision, Blizzard, King. Looks like it might be officially over. 100%, you know, internally people at Microsoft's going to know before the public knows on whether or not this stuff's going through. And, you know, we did see a kind of a preliminary where the CMA actually folded and it looked like they were in the early terms of agreeing to the, the merger between Activision, Blizzard King, and Microsoft. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Call of Duty. Not the, pre, not the newest ones, but everything else coming into Game Pass because I think that is a key point to a lot of people. Where is that Call of Duty? Well, I got some good news for you guys. It looks like that actually might be a thing. Now, let's talk about Call of Duty. Let's talk about that in a second. But we got to talk about Activision Blizzard King. Because not only is Microsoft confident this game and this company is not only coming to Game Pass, but coming to Microsoft. They're actually setting up interviews and it's looking like they're looking for people over there. And it's on the Microsoft website. Shout out to uh, Sloth King. You know, he. it looks like they want finance team experience devices. You can see it over here. So they're already looking to fill certain positions over there at ABK. So if they're doing that, and I don't think they can legally do this unless they actually own the company. You know, they, they these deal might have already went through. It's just now the back end paperwork where, you know, they can actually take hold of some of the things that's going on, but until everything is signed, they can't formally announce anything. And even if they could announce something right now, let's say the deals already went through, they probably wouldn't want to, they want to actually, you know, spread out this kind of information and, you know, make it make more sense. You know, they want to not only get this, but they want to also, announce it at the right time where it's actually going to benefit them a lot better but let, let's let's go over here to this so as you can see people already doing the call of duty coming to game passing this is fan made obviously but what i want to really point out here is this one because it's looking like there's stuff on the back end already happened with call of duty Right here, as you can see, welcome to Game Pass, Call of Duty Ghosts Activision. You know, this is the only one I've really seen pop up, but that shows that they are doing stuff in the back end. Now, I want people to relax on thinking everything's coming day one. The moment this deal is approved, most likely it's going to take a little bit. But the way it's looking, not only is this deal done from what I showed you, you know, from the overview of the job applications they're going to it looks like in the back end of stuff they're already putting call of duty into game pass not only is that stuff done they're just moving very fast ironically and coincidentally after the cma thing happened last week which that video i covered that that was three days ago i covered that so three days ago i covered the cma kind of backing down from their whole perspective on whether or not they're going to do something and now they are looking like they're putting <laughs> they're putting call of duty any game pass on the back end of things so i want you guys to connect the dots there because i ain't doing them but all right let's talk let's talk about realistic expectations now that it's looking like this deal is done we're going to see some game uh, call of duty games on game pass don't expect everything like i said you know, first off, it wouldn't make sense for them just to drop everything in one one foul swoop. You know, they spent a lot of money on this and they're going to want to spread that news cycle. Probably a couple weeks to a couple months. We'll probably see the Crash games, a couple of the Call of Duty, some of the older ones. I would say they would target some of the backwards compatibility ones. Now, keep in mind, they just recently did a huge update on a lot of the older Call of Duty games. Right there should have told you all you needed to know about if this deal was going through or not. That Microsoft and Activision was going back to older 360 Call of Duties. 
and they were fixing servers, fixing issues. They were doing a lot of stuff on the back end of things to give you a, a smooth experience playing that game. And we saw it a couple months ago where people were going out and they were buying the 360 counterparts of these games in the droves. Were, it was showing up on NPDs and stuff. So there is still a lot of hype for these old Call of Duties. I myself, I don't care about Call of Duty like that. But I know that when they're able to put these Call of Duties day and day into Game Pass, it's going to be a big thing. You know, we're looking at Call of Duty. Look at stuff like Diablo 4. Diablo 4 is a big franchise. Diablo itself is giant. Not as big as Call of Duty, obviously. But that game going into Game Pass is big. Now, I would say that would probably be one of the first games they drop just to really deliver a strong first statement with some of the older Call of Duties and maybe the recent Crash, Crash Bandicoot 4. I would say that's probably a realistic counter, but don't expect all these games to go in there the same day they announce it. The biggest question I have now that we're seeing stuff like Call of Duty popping up in the, in the back end of stuff on Game Pass is what's going to happen with the announcement? You know, I want you guys to put in the comment section below on that. Like, the announcement, I'm curious what's going to happen with that. Are they going to do, like, a round table that they did with Bethesda where everyone comes together and they really are transparent with what they want to do with those brands on that platform? Because, you know, Phil came out on the Bethesda thing said, yo, Starfield's ours. But the stuff that's already on the platform, we're not taking that from you. But Starfield's ours. You know, we are about bringing value to our console. And we will do that alongside the PC. So just curious, man. I think this is a good day. We're going to see this deal finally conclude in the next couple weeks. I think it was rumored to be like the 26th of the next month or something like that. I don't know. But we're seeing the back end of stuff doing. They're, they're hiring or looking to hire people for ABK, Microsoft is. So I'm kind of curious, you know, what the community's reaction is going to be when that when that first official announcement is made because it's coming it's coming fast but anyway put in the comments below what you guys think do you think this is a big deal do you think at the end of the day this is going to drive game pass sales or maybe console sales curious your guys's opinion me call of duty is one of the biggest if not the biggest franchise in gaming so you'd be stupid not to think it's going to not deliver some form of impact on the Xbox ecosystem. Not only putting their games in the Game Pass day and date when they're allowed to, but also Microsoft having the marketing rights to Call of Duty, which you can argue is just as deadly as Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty is made by multiple developers. Some are hit, some are missed, depending on who you talk to. But being able to market all of the games, regardless, because most casual audience, they don't know that... You know, Sledgehammer made this one. Infinity War made this one. And, you know, Treyarch made this one. They just see them all as Call of Duty. But put in the comment section below what you guys feel about that. And until next time, this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace.